click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous topic we have studied the structure of the sucrose and now in this topic we are going to talk about the structure of maltose so now let us understand that is how a maltose is been formed because of the combination of two monosaccharides and this is what i'm going to talk about in this topic so now let's get started so friends now let us understand the structure of maltose but in the previous topic also we have discussed that is while studying about the glycosidic linkage that is maltose is formed because of the combination of two alpha d glucopyranose so this is what i am going to talk about again that is suppose if we consider the structure of alpha d glucopyranose so in that case we will get to know that is there will be the following structure this one or this carbon atom is considered to be the anomeric carbon atom and to which basically suppose if we are talking about alpha d glucopyranose then here basically the OH it will be downward while the H will be upward and here basically there is a presence of OH here and hydrogen over here that is on the second carbon atom so here basically there is presence of OH here there is H here there is OH here there is H here there is, OH, here there is CH2 OH and here there is H so therefore this is the structure of alpha D glucopyranose but suppose if we combine the other alpha d glucopyranose so in that case we could get the following structure that is what i am writing over here where we can find that is a hydrogen atom is attached over here this is oh here there is h oh over here oh that is hydroxyl group and this is what i am drawing and here also there is a anomeric carbon atom but as we have studied that is to form a glycosidic linkage we understood that is this that is OH group which is present at the lower position it will combine with this hydrogen and that is how basically the dehydration will occur and that is how basically this carbon atom will form a bond with this oxygen atom forming a glycosidic linkage and this is how basically the maltose has been formed. Maltose is a structure where we can find that is the oxygen is present at the lower side and that is basically known as the glycosidic linkage and for that we have the following structure. So talking about the other information that is maltose is basically reducing sugar because here basically one of the anomeric carbon atom is basically combining with the, the oxygen atom over here but still we have a free carbonyl or still we have a free anomeric carbon atom over here and that is how basically so this carbon which consists of that is the OH group can reduce the felling solution as well as the tolerance reagent and that's the reason this maltose is also considered to be the reducing sugar but suppose if we talk about the sucrose so talking about the sucrose sucrose don't have the free carbonyl group or they don't have the anomeric carbon atom that would react with the felling solution or the tolerance reagent so for that let me give you a short example related to this diagram so this is the structure of sucrose where we have found that is one of the anomeric carbon atom is involved in bonding with this oxygen atom but here also there is basically an anomeric carbon atom which could that is obviously we understand that is there is a carbonyl group that is attached to the carbon number two and that is how basically here also the anomeric carbon atom is basically involved in that is formation of a bond over here and that's the reason there is no that is free carbonyl group that is left so as to reduce the felling solution or the tolerance region and that is how basically sucrose is a non-reducing sugar while talking about the maltose it is a reducing sugar so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood the structure of maltose and this is it and thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much